like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free No, I'm fine. Food is really good. I'm fine. Why? Baby, I can't eat. I'm watching my weight. You know that. Oh, how could I forget? I've come across a lot of ladies in my life. I mean, a lot. There's only one lady I'd like to see before I go to bed at night. One lady I'd like to see when I wake up in the morning. The only lady I'd like to walk by the park. The one I'd like to call the mother of my children. What was the meaning of that? Who does that to a woman? Kemi, I'm deeply sorry. I honestly don't know what came over me. 
please just just please I'm sorry, okay? Let's not bother with the details of all of this. I want to go into it. I need an explanation. Okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down. Just just calm down. There's this girl I used to date back in university. We were in love with each other. <laughs> we were deeply and crazily in love with each other. She was my world when I lost my parents at the motor accident. Paid my tuition, put clothes on my back. She gave me money. We're really in love. We vowed never to leave each other. Shortly after we graduated, we lost contact after she left the country and got engaged. I was devastated. I was heartbroken. I was in pain. But that's when I met you. You came into my world and, and you lightened my world. So, I'm listening. She got back into the country six months ago. And we've been seeing each other since then. <gasps> came here, I'm confused. I, I'm deeply confused. You're confused. About what? Chris, you're confused about what? I love you both. And I don't want to lose you both. Sitting here, I got time. It's clear to see from up here the world seems small. We can sit together, it's so beautiful.
I'm deeply sorry. I, I, I don't have any excuse. Can you please? Please, I'm sorry. What else can I say? At least I now know about her. I can move on with my life. No, 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 no. Please, 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 I beg you. I beg you to move on, please, I beg you. I, I promise you. I, I, I want you to stay. Never see her again. I'm telling you, so it was very obvious, was it? People didn't even see him there. But they were looking for him. How were you? Chris, I. What's going on here? Huh? Sit down. Kemi, this is Noella. Noella, this is. Are you mad? Hey, put your hand down. Chris. Is this not the same Jezebel I saw you kissing the same book? Is this not the same witch I saw you kissing shamelessly on Facebook? Chris! You are still sitting down there! Hey, you are still sitting down there! Kem, Kem, Don't start what you can't finish. You can't come to my office and harass someone. First of all, she's not a Jezebel. Her name is, uh, um, Noella. <laughs> yes. Second! She was the one I was kissing on Facebook, so? I don't think you're all right. Chris, what have I done now to deserve this treatment from you? What's the meaning of this? Okay. Chris! Uh, uh, Kemi, honestly, quite frankly, you haven't done anything to me. But I just feel like by now you should be obvious enough to you that I like you. But I love Noella more, okay? So, please. I don't want us to quarrel about this thing. Let's go about it like adults and just go our separate ways peacefully. So that you can come from time to time to buy you ice cream and shawarma. And I will. No quarrel. Please. I don't. Are you sure you're okay? I think this is spiritual. 
Uh, then go and me... pray. Go and pray and fast about it. <sighs> like, don't hurt him, please. Please. I think that's enough. Please. Yeah, don't start this thing you want to do. Please. After how long? Don't worry. What are you talking about? Just come and pray. Go and pray about it. What? Have I not warned you about letting anybody to my office? Start calling me first. Eh? Let another person enter here. Rubbish. Oh, this is my fans. Oh. <laughs> they are always disturbing me. Ask me. What's the matter? Um. Don't give me that fake smile. You know it won't work with me. What's wrong? Mr. Will, I think you should stop pocknosing into other people's affairs. Get well soon. And leave the hospital. Uh, how many times? Have I told you not to call me Mr. Will? Just call me Will. Okay, Will. Get well soon and leave the hospital. How are you doing? I'm doing better. And you are avoiding the question. What's the matter? It's him, right? met the other woman. He introduced us. He said his heart belongs to her. Wow. That, that guy has got some very serious nerves. I mean, that's just so unfair. After five years in a relationship, So, what do you plan to do? What do I plan to do? You want to break up. Heaven knows I cannot take it. I don't even think I can take it. I'm just going to die. Oh, come on, don't be ridiculous. You can't die. Look, you're a vibrant, hardworking, intelligent woman. And you have your life to live. Look, don't be the kind of woman that needs a man. Rather be the kind of woman that every man wants. Remember, relationship is not to be forced. Love is not to be forced. Okay. Thank you. 
very much. It's okay. You're welcome anytime. And if you love something, you have to let it go. If it is yours, it will come back to you. your breath and even the good lord tells us that christmas brings good tidings and not sadness i'm a strong believer of the magic of the season i am making my christmas wish tonight i want my chris to come back home and i also want my engagement ring from him amen Surprised to see me. I, um, uh, you're the last person I expected to see. Oh, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a wonderful Christmas. Wait till you see the surprise I have for you. Surprise? It's over there. with the glowing moon. Merry Christmas. Happy Boxing Day to my very nosy patient. You got me a gift? Oh my God, this is so thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, well, since I didn't get a gift for you and it's Boxing Day, why don't you come over here and let me <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> the doctor says you've been discharged. You can go. I can go home today? Yeah. Oh my god, this keeps getting better. Another Christmas gifts? I'm so happy. <laughs> he proposed. Wow. Now, how did that happen? I guess God answered my Christmas prayers. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm happy. Congratulations.
Charlie, what's wrong? You've been in a mood all morning, what's wrong? I don't even act like I didn't notice the tears on the bed. So, what's wrong? You have tears of joy. <laughs> tears of joy. Okay, I see. So when are we leaving for our honeymoon? <laughs> honeymoon. Hmm. Honeymoon has been cancelled. I see. I, I don't know. Why would you cancel our honeymoon? Because I don't understand how I can be married to a man Yet his heart and his soul is with someone else. What do I have? His body. Why do you marry me? Based on the pressure. Because I cannot understand how my husband will make love to me and call Noella's name. On my wedding night. I did? Kiliana! Are you going to deny it? I, I, I didn't really want to fight over. Wait, if you say one more word, I will smash this glass on your head. Can't I have peace? I already made it clear to you that henceforth to do your own thing while I do my own thing. What part of that don't you understand? I mean, I just, but I'm deeply, sincerely sorry. Please. That's the problem. I don't want apologies. I want explanations. Until you're ready to give that, leave me alone. You see, I, 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 the problem. I don't want you to sleep in this room. You and I cannot sleep in this alone. If you don't go, I will go. I'm fine, I'll leave. Wait, 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 wait.
Can I come in, please? Yeah, sure. It's my fault. I accept the fact that I'm confused and stupid. But I want you to know that you were the only woman in my bed that night. You would always be the only woman in my heart. I'm sorry for all the pain that I've caused you. I pray to God that you find it in your heart to forgive. It's okay. You're my husband and I am. I forgive you. Thank you. Can I get a hug? No. Please. No. Oh, no. I'm not kidding. This is here. Let's go to It's too early, have you? Yes, let's go. 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 let us go I'm not picking up. I'm not picking up. And I open it. Bam! Oh my God! I just missed the best room in the whole country. I spent six days, no phones, no iPads, just in my car. This is this is so beautiful. Awesome, like a professional suit. Oh. You like it? Yeah. You love it? Who's the, oh. the best husband in the world? Who's the best husband in the world? I don't know. I think I'm married. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Baby, baby, please, please, just, just listen to me before you end the call, please, just, just listen to me! Hello? Hello? Baby, you're home early. That's really strange. Oh. My boss sent me to attend the seminar in Abuja. My flight leaves in two hours. I just came to inform you and to quickly pack a few things. Baby, why will your boss send you on a seminar when you just resumed? Oh. Oh, okay. How many days are you staying? 
I'll be gone for a week. I'm back next Sunday. A week? Okay. Let, let me just help you pack. Are you going with this one? Um, yeah. Ask me to come to the hospital, it's not my shift. No. I actually wanted to go to Chris's office. I haven't heard from him. His number is not connecting. I've been so worried. I'm telling you. No, don't worry, don't worry. I'll come. I'll come. Let me even see if that number will connect now. Mommy, I know. I can't even explain. I feel so feverish. I feel so sick. This is the time I need Chris. It's what I've always wanted. Yes, I'm happy I'm having a baby, but it feels like I'm doing this all alone. But I want my husband as well. But what happened? You, your phones have been totally out of reach. I'm sorry, my phone crashed the second I landed at Abuja. I only just fixed it when I got back to Lagos. I'm so sorry. How are you? Fine. Have you been? I've been dead. How are you? I'm okay. There's something I want to tell you. I... What? What is it? Kimmy, 
are you sick? Do you want to get you to no. the hospital? Do you want well, drugs? Yes, no, 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 you're... I was going to no. tell you. We're expecting a baby. Yeah. Yeah. As in you're pregnant, pregnant. Yeah, like pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Confirmed. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm so excited. Okay. Good news, babe. Yeah. Great news. So happy. Yeah. I'm happy you're back. I've been so alone in this house. I'm happy to be back too. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together, it's so beautiful. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. What's up with you tonight? You're acting funny. Funny? I'm gonna be a mom soon. I'm not acting funny. I'm just happy. Mm. What name do you have in mind? No name yet. We don't know the sex of the baby. It doesn't matter. When people are gonna be parents, they you anticipate names and sexes and you, it doesn't matter. It, it could be a boy or a girl. For instance, if it's a girl, I'm going to call her Christabel. And if it's a guy, I will call him Christian or Christopher. Baby, what, what name do you have? But it doesn't matter. I think Christabel and Christian is okay. My God, what if it's twins? <laughs> I'll be the happiest woman on earth. Can you imagine our first children? Twins? Yeah. Baby, they're gonna be so cute too. Little. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that would be the best. I want a girl. But I'll be so blessed if God gives me twins. Especially when they're identical. <laughs> Baby, I just got back now. You're going for what? Annual dinner meeting. You want me to come? It's okay. No, it's fine. It, me, I'm even tired. Just not see if I really wanted to come. Mm. All right, bye.
Oh. <sighs> Darling, how are you? I hope work was good though. <laughs> well, it was hectic as usual. How are you? I'm good. I hope you're not hungry. Uh, no, I'm not. But I could really use more of that ice cream. Though. This ice cream? Yeah. I thought you went there today. Why didn't you get ice cream? Oh, I'm sure you were too busy with your female companion that you forgot to get ice cream. Kimmy, please, I'm sorry. I... I just didn't want her to come to my office. That's why I wanted her to meet me in an open place. Th there's nothing going on between us, I promise you. I even told her about the baby. She sent her regards. <laughs> oh, God. I never said something was going on, did I? <sighs> okay. Mm. Uh, uh, can I please have... Yeah, sure. You really want this ice cream? You have some nerve showing up at my doorstep. How dare you? Won't you let me in at least? Just, just let me in. You better start saying whatever it is that brought you here. I heard you're pregnant, so I got something for your baby. Come on, have it. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope you are aware that Chris is not happy with you being pregnant. <laughs> what did he just say? Listen, he is not ready to be the father of your child. Can't you see he does not love you? He is still with you out of pity. <sighs> Do you remember the seminar he told you he was going to? <laughs> he explained that with me. And do you also remember the annual dinner party that he wouldn't let you come? Oh, we both attended it together. You see? He doesn't love you. Well, we are relocated to the States. So once we are done with our flight arrangement, we are off. And for your information, he's engaged to me. And his heart belongs to Moa. From the start. <laughs> you don't have to be surprised, my darling, okay? Have a nice day. Bye. Chris! 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 Oh my god! Surprised to see me. I, um, uh, you're the last person I expected to see. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a wonderful Christmas. Wait till you see the surprise I have for you. Surprise? It's over there. Marry me, I'll make my life. I don't know. I don't know who you really want to be with. 
think you should search your heart and ask yourself if it's going to be me or her. And I will respect your decision. But right now I'm not, I'm not sure this is, this is right. Boxing day to my very nosy patient. You got me a gift? Oh my god, this is so thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um well, since I didn't get a gift for you and it's boxing day, why don't you come over here and let me <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Watches. I became a strong woman yesterday. Chris proposed, just as I wished, but I turned him down. What? Why? Isn't that what you've always wanted? I had a dream, and I realized that as long as the other woman is still around the corner, I would not be happy. So I told him to go search his heart and tell himself what he really wants, you know? Besides, you told me love is not to be forced. Wow. You are a really strong woman. I admire your courage. Thank you. The doctor says you've been discharged. You can actually go home. Wow. I wasn't looking forward to going home. I mean, there's no one waiting for me there. Why? What happened? You can talk to me. What is it? All right. Why don't you sit down and let me tell you the story of how I landed myself here. See the girl in that picture? That's the woman I was in love with. Still in love with, actually. We met in the US and we fell in love and it was just so magical. We got engaged and then decided to come back to Nigeria to get married. Her name is Emanuela, but I call her Ella. Stand there at the altar and watch you walk down that aisle in that white garment looking all beautiful, 
I swear to you, that would make me the happiest man on earth. Maybe. I want us to be together for the rest of our lives. And so shall it be, my queen. I love you, baby. I love you, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You can do this. I'm shopping a life for wedding day. Really? Yeah, just come over and help me. I'm so blinded all these beautiful wedding gowns. Just take a look at this. And this and this. Okay. Uh, too gothic. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, what about this? Yeah, too French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is awesome, baby. You like it? Yes, this looks awesome. Oh, oh my god. I mean, baby, it will make you look like the shiny princess that you are. But I'm not flattering you, baby. You I'm just. Are. No, I'm not. No, I'm just telling you the fact. This is a beautiful gown and I'm sure that it will look really great on you. So I should just go ahead and order for it, right? You haven't ordered already? No. What are you waiting for? Just call me. <laughs> I'm so glad that you love it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, over to my bridal chain. Yes. Baby. Baby. Huh? Come on. Sorry. Come on, baby. Um, I'm not boring with all this wedding decoration. No, not at all, baby. Look, I'm as interested in all of this as you are. Yeah. Remember, we're a team. Together, all the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, How should I get for you? Juice? Yes. I think I just need to take a shower for now. Hmm? Okay. When I come back, we'll figure something out. Okay. Alright. Okay. 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 I'm back. Hi. <laughs> um, where are you going to? <laughs> I'm going out on a date. On a date? With who? Um, it's okay, uh, you know what, never mind. But I noticed a few days ago that your things are no longer in the room. What's going on? Will, what I'm about to tell you, I know it's going to break your heart, 
but I have to do it. I have my things to my new apartment that I rented in town. Do you remember my ex that I told you about? I met him last week. So I realized that I love him more than I love you. So I, I cannot continue to pretend to love you when I know that my heart is Wait, so wait! What the hell are you on about? What are you talking about? I cancelled the wedding. You did what? You did what? Jesus. I'm sorry. I, I just hope you feel the reason your heart's fucking me. The other woman I've been telling you about. What? Yes. I, I, are you sure? This woman? Yeah. I'm sure the ex she was talking about is crazy. My God. This woman is such a small place. My God. My Ella has been the one causing you all this pain. Sorry. I didn't know. I mean you, you don't you, you don't deserve to be here yourself. It's not your fault. I'm not so sorry about Chris. Well, I have a feeling that everything is going to end well. I just go back home now. Now? Okay, I'm coming. Just give me a few minutes. I'll be there.
Schatz. I invited the both of you here because this is my mess. And I have to clean it up myself. Ella, I've known you the longest. I've known you for a long time, for a very, very long time. But you disappeared on me before. What's to say that you won't disappear on me again? Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you're a bad person. I'm just saying that when it comes to me picking a wife, you're not exactly the first person that comes to mind. But oh, you're smart. You're attractive. I like you, Ella. But I love Kelly. Kelly, I'm so sorry for all the pain that I've caused you. I'm sorry for every second I've made you cry. Please, if you will still have me, it will be an honor to be your husband. Please marry me. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit 